palliatives. The Center for Justice on Religious and Ethnicity in Nigeria has accused the Borno State Governor, Professor Babagana Zulum, of deliberately excluding Christians in the state from benefiting from the federal government's palliative giving to residents of the state. The group's Director General, Reverend Kalamu Dikwa, also alleged that Christians in the states are always excluded from any palliatives and assistance brought to the state, including the three billion naira given to them by President Bola Ahmed Dinubu last week to help those whose family members were killed by Boko Haram insurgents and other terrorists in the state. Reverend Dikwa also added that the Christian community in Goza local government area in the state that are in IDP camps are still there, unlike the Muslims who have been returned to their communities. The Reverend called on the Christian Association of Nigeria and President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to look into the matter, sending a warning that any breach of peace in Borno State will be the handwork of the governor. I mean, Ayo Rufai, you know I always praise Professor Babagana Zulum for all his efforts, everything he's been doing. I mean, just last week we talked about his uh, initiative of, you know, electric taxis yeah. and, and, you know, CNG buses that he had uh, when uh, President uh, Tinubu visited him. But this is a very, very strong allegation. Yesterday, we just, you know, highlighted the Kaduna State governor who was preaching unity in yeah. his state. And we are hearing this story from, you know, a reverend father and, you know, calling on the Christian Association of Nigeria to look into this matter, which is a very serious matter if this is happening in his state. We even highlighted him yesterday about the elephant that was killed. And, and asked him state. to investigate that yes. as well, yes. I, I think this will be really sad because, yes. uh, like you mentioned, if there's one governor that's come under praise or has been praised a number of times, yes. especially with the way he's responded or um, been able to tackle insurgency in Borneo State Absolutely. and helped the people uh, recover from the um, from the from from what had happened in the country, in the, in the state with regards to insurgency, He's been praised. He's done a lot. In fact, when I went to Bornu State, he's actually really popular with the people. Mm. And they love him. They say he's done really well. <laughs> Bornu, uh, you know, Meduguru was returning to, um, um, to its old glory, at least to a very large extent. They say the place was safer. And they gave kudos to the governor, largely. So it would be quite sad to imagine that this is happening. The very fragile state of the, of the, of the state <laughs> is in question here and it is important that they that governors and that's why it was good to highlight what governor Ubasani was doing in Kaduna State that Absolutely. they'd suffered too much. Bono State has suffered too much. Let us not bring religious division and feelings of discrimination and discontent that could then brew something different from what insurgency had done in that state. So I do hope that it is an error and that the governor would investigate this and make right and do right by Christians living in Bornu State. But I'm glad that they also spoke up because what is good for the Muslims in the state is good for the Christians. There shouldn't be any kind of division. So yes. I'm hoping that we will get a response. Um, for, after this report, the, um, the um, government officials haven't responded yet, so I'm hoping they will respond, and most importantly, that they will take action to correct this misnomer. Absolutely. We're waiting to hear from Professor Babagana Zulu.